an incredibly annoying villain. A very risky and dangerous job. And one of the worst disasters that the Bedell Dare children had to ever deal with. And of course, all in all, one unfortunate event. Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this incredibly unfortunate book. A series of unfortunate events by the by Lemony Snicket the Carnivorous Festival. It is book nine of well the series of unfortunate events. And well, let's get right on to it. This book, as always, is about the three Bedilladere children. Violet Bedilladere, Claude Bedilladere, and, of course, the little one, Sunny Bedilladere. They are currently in the back of old Count Olaf's truck. They have gone in there just so that they knew that Count Olaf was going towards the clue that perhaps could lead them to their parents, and this was the only way. They, when they get out of the trunk, they find Count Olaf in some sort of carnival. And, well, they, they have nowhere to sleep, no, nothing to eat, so they somehow have to get a job at the carnival. And they look inside Olaf's disguise and makeup stuff, and he immediately realizes, Hmm, we, if we could dress up as freaks, could we get in the House of Freaks? Of course, it's a very incredibly horrible job, but that could get them food, a place to sleep, and also uh, a way to get money, kind of. So they decided to do that. <clears throat> they, <clears throat> Claus and Violet turned them into a two-headed freak by wearing a large shirt and large pants. And as for Sunny, she put on a long beard that made her look like a half wolf. So basically they dressed up as freaks and they went inside the house, the carnival. And they were immediately hired because, well obviously Count Olaf's troop is mean and Madame Lulu is, I don't know. So they're just making fun of those two and yep, these guys, they're hired because they're funny. Well. It's kind of horrible in so many ways, and wrong in so many ways, but it did get them hired. And in the ne everything was incredibly horrible. Because, well, Violet and Claus had to get used to having one hand as Violet and one hand as Claus, and they're both trying to eat, like, a e ear of corn, for example. It's horrible, you know? Like, Violet tries to get, um a piece of corn to claws, but, I mean, they don't have the same brain, they don't share a brain, so, it's just, the, the timing's not right, and when you show his mouth, and tries to clap it down, and the uh, corn ear will be too late, and it'll end up on his, on his face, or something like that, and it, it, it was, well, funny for mean people, and there's a lot of mean people around here. So they were hired to just eat a piece of corn and be sloppy and messy about it. And Chabu the wolf baby, oh gosh, Sunny, she just had to pretend and growl and uh, it's, it's it's just really, really, really horrible stuff. And they were forced to do that. And then things got even worse. Count Olaf is making the show more interesting, more entertaining by feeding one of the freaks every day to lions. Excuse me, is that even legal? The answer is no, definitely not. But we're talking about Count Olaf and totally stupid people here. So, that's what we're dealing with. And obviously, the, the fact that Count Olaf is incredibly evil and the fact that these people who come to the carnival don't know the law at all that's just extremely unfortunate, isn't it? How could this situation become worse? Well, find out, read the book, and like always, your book quester and the book quester. This book was as unfortunate as always, but you can feel the tension building up, and we'll see how much more unfortunate 
this the next bug is. And could the ending be happy? Uh, probably not.